Hey, Great Scott Moments, and we've been kind of going through a man's and a woman's uh, basic needs. Okay, and so this is uh, the woman's basic needs, and this came from the book His Needs, Her Needs. And if you haven't read that, I encourage you, please go get that book because it'll go into a lot more depth. We're just doing a little quick overview. So, what is a woman's number one need? Affection. So, what does that mean? And I'm, I'm asking this question to guys who have kind of maybe no idea. You know, what does affection mean? Affection is kind of, you know, not sex, but showing your kind, considerate ways. It's holding hands. It's maybe, you know, touching her head and playing with her hair. Um, depending on her love language, you know, maybe watch that video of mine. Um, so the affection is, is you showing your love in a non-sexual way, but just an adoring manner. Okay? And that's not, you know, you go to your co-worker at work and start fiddling with her hair. You know, that, you, there's, there's places for that. And a woman will let you know whether you have grounds for that, you know, to be able to get to her number one affection because that is you know a, a basic need and she doesn't want other men that she doesn't know meeting her basic needs okay so so be wary and and she'll let you know if that's inappropriate or you know you know depending on the relationship that you guys have um, conversation now that could be with most any woman they love to talk there's you know, what is it that the joke that, you know, a man's got 5,000 words, a woman's got 20,000 words, and, you know, after a day of work, he's already run out of words, um, so he's got no words for his wife, and that's, that's sad, because as true as it might be in some cases, um, what a woman really needs is conversation. And it could be, she just does all the talking. And that's fine. Maybe you're just there, but give her your full attention and ask some questions and, and a lot of times it's give and play, give and take and exploring something. Maybe um, for, for a lot of women they, um, they think by talking and so they'll just talk and it's like an airplane circling and circling and circling and eventually they're like ah I got the point and they ground the plane and then the conversation's over. And they might start a new conversation, but you've done your duty because you've had the conversation and you've gone through all this stuff. And that is where we might say, you know, don't try and solve the problems. She's probably just spinning around trying to, to speak and think. Okay? So just be patient with her. Um, open Honesty and openness. So... Um, Yes, there's nothing, nothing worse than a woman scorned or lying to a woman and she finds out. Okay, that is kind of where you get into very deep trouble for guys or other women. You know, you don't, you don't lie to women. It's, it's kind of a, they will find out and you're destroying their, their basic need. And so when they cannot trust you, okay, maybe this should be trust because this ties in very well with all the other different needs is you've got to be authentic and you've got to be authentically with them in your conversation you got to be authentic if you're going to play with their hair um, so but and being open being saying you know wherever you want to go now for men you women are a huge mystery a guy can say, what's the matter? Or why are you crying? Or why do you not feel okay with what you're wearing? And the answer is completely a mystery to us and we have no idea what we're getting. Okay? Which is okay. You were created in a certain manner that is not masculine. Okay? We hunt and fish and club our women type of thing. Um, very basic and simple, you know. Men can be solved to some extent. 
women are a mystery. It's it's like God is a mystery. You know, we can't we can put all kinds of doctrine down and we still miss the point. Okay. So, you know, women as a mystery, you know, they're requiring an honesty and an openness because they are going to be revealing who they are if they choose to. <laughs> and but trust me, when you have a woman that can reveal that inner beauty that's inside them because she trusts you and you've been honest, you're going to find some amazing, beautiful things out of a woman. And that's, that's going to rock your boat. Um, financial support. Yes, um, that's typically people call that security. Um, financial support means that at the end of the harvest, there's going to be a harvest. Okay? And you sow what you reap. So please go out there and sow so that at the end of the month or at the end of a week or whatever it is, you're going to have a harvest where you're going to be able to take home something to provide. Okay? It may not necessarily mean a woman wants millions of dollars. She might. But that's not everything. And unfortunately, um, women have had to find financial support on their own. And, you know, that's, that's not, I mean, that is a basic human need within them. And if they can't find a man that will help them in that area, they'll go do it themselves. Because they need that, that's a basic need for them. And so, fifth is a familial commitment. Okay, so something that, you know, not necessarily you're going to get together and they're going to have kids, um, but it's that, that you have this abundance relationship that, you know, who she brings into the life is family and you're going to love them and you're going to commit to, okay, if she loves all of her girlfriends and, you know, maybe you think they're not quite on the sly a little, but you're going to make a commitment that, hey, if she's going to call them friends, I'm going to call them friends. I might have some reservations on certain activities or, you know, certain comments. But, and then you can clarify that with your, the, the woman. But, um, you know, that is a huge aspect. And so, there's no easy way to wrap all of these up in one thing. Like with men, it's all about a relationship. And certain activities that can be happened within even just one relationship. As, as Eve fulfilled Adam, you know, a woman, it, it, it's not necessarily, it's lots of different aspects. She's a diamond, and there's all these different facets. When you take care of all the facets, it's going to shine like beautiful stars and rainbows and beauty like you'd never believe. And so guys, um, this is what you're going to help try and provide for the woman around you and especially if you have a woman in your life this is this is utter important okay so that's it for today i hope you enjoyed this um come join my list and i'll talk to you later bye, -bye.